Hello and welcome back to Risen 3. Let's see. We just got here to the uh, eastern part of the island, but, 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 I got uh, some tips from um, a nice YouTube user named Joan Sternies. Sterns, I'm sorry if I butchered your name. So uh, we're gonna try out some of the stuff that you um, gave some advice on. Um, let's play. Always a good uh, idea. Let's take a if look here. Careful, I don't have you over a barrel, sweetheart. If you do actually beat me, I'll give you a reward you'll never forget: an old sacrificial dagger. Anyone who holds this will be deadly at knife throwing. So go nice. ahead. To defeat your opponents. Okay. Let's see. Okay. I have to mash the button. That was very easy. Well, okay, thank you. You won fair and square. Yes. The moment there, I thought I had you, but my arm was down before I even noticed it. Yep. Here, the dagger and the gold are yours. Thank you. Let's lower the stakes in future, so I don't end up broke. Yeah, probably. Um. What do you want? Let's just take a look again. What do you no. Don't think there's anything that what interesting left. From these guys at least. Just want to take uh, take a quick look. Uh, teach me something. No. Toughness instructor. That's a thief. Alchemist. All right. Let's just go here first. So this episode will be uh, dedicated to uh, the tips that uh, Der Joan gave me. Uh, we're gonna explore the uh, southern beach area uh, and the southern area in general, southwestern area, I'd say. And uh, there, appar there's apparently some nice loot still in the ruins. I thought I covered that pretty thoroughly. There's another quest over there that we didn't do before, that we might as well do. Uh, safe cracker, thank you. Uh, can't learn that yet. But, let's get over to the ruins. Now, apparently we're looking for a switch on the wall somewhere. Let's see if we can find that. However, I missed it. I'm gonna guess that it's a bit further in... further inside the ruins. Did we? No, we checked out this area before. Hmm. Don't really like that it's dark here now. Hmm. I am not sure where this this switch is supposed to be. But let's start from the 
from the back. Would be kind of logical that it it's kind of in the back. If there is nice loot there, probably wouldn't put it in the beginning. But we'll see. Doesn't uh, hurt to go over this area once again. The lock uh, is too intricate for me. Too intricate lock. Doesn't look like there is anything here. These torches aren't switches either. So why don't we go up on the other floor? Doesn't seem to be anything very nice here either. We did clean out this area pretty thoroughly. Oh, there's a fork that we missed. Can't miss the fork, right? Let's see. Anything here? No, probably not. Switch in the wall. Where could that be? I feel kind of stupid for missing it in the first place, but I guess things like this are pretty easy to miss. Don't like that it's dark now. That's not gonna help my switch looking thing. Hmm. Well, it seems very empty here, to be completely honest. Did we open this chest? Yes, we did. There's a switch in the wall somewhere. I guess I was pretty blind to miss it in the first place. Um, what the hell is that? Golden bowl. Some magic crystals. We're definitely somewhere where... Wow, really? There was a pretty tough minion there. That killed me very fast. Pretty sure that you're not supposed to jump down here. Yeah, okay. So there is an intended road here. Really? Wow, you do some damage, brother. Let's jump down here again. Let's see, some distraction for the, the minion. And some buffs for me. Let's also save. Fuck you, minion. So much easier when you have buffs. Voodoo doll. Thank you for more parrot flight. Exactly how am I supposed to get down from here, though? Maybe the stairs will be very useful. I seriously can't find the switch. What the hell? And it's super dark now. That sucks.
Hmm. Well, apparently this switch was harder to find than I ex anticipated. I wonder... Hmm. Let's leave that for now. And let's go down here to the southern area. See if we can find something interesting here at least. Maybe not jump down to our depth. Would be a f good first start. There's probably quite a lot of enemies over here still. I don't think we cleaned out many of them last time we were here. We were here for a very short period of time. I wish I could have the buffs permanently. That would be very nice. Chicken drumstick. A chest that we can open. Very nice. Um, really? There we go. I had to think there for just two seconds. Um, let's see if we can find something else here. There should be a path somewhere here that leads down to the, um, the beach. What the hell is this? Very, very uh, weird lizard. Really? Seriously? Raptor, fuck you. Dragon Snapper. Wow, really? Let's do them buffs again. Oh, there are two of them. And a dragon snapper. Let's see, let's kill the dragon snapper first though. Apparently we're not gonna do that because I just started focusing the other lizard. But let's kill the dragon snapper now then. There we go. Very nice, very nice. And another lizard that we're gonna kill pretty easily. Yeah, could you just not do that? I don't like how uh, quickly it actually attacks after it does that wheezing thing. It just lounges at you. But now we have that out of the way. Let's see, there are some strange stones here. Let's go over here, take a look again at the house area. Hmm. Not that much to go for here. Du -du -du. Anything else? Nope, doesn't look like it. Let's go head down to the beach.
that would be our next stop. Apparently there should be some nice loot down there. I was looking forward to finding the switch though. That still kind of annoys me. Let's return there once it's daylight so we can see better. It's kind of stupid going to look for a switch when you can't see shit. So let's take a look at the beach area. Uh, some ogres. Wonder if we can swim over here or if it will teleport us back. Sand Devil. Very easy to kill right now. Almost too easy. Let's see. These are very easy ones. You knock them down with a heavy attack and then kill them. They're almost way too easy. Oh really? You feel like hitting me? Well, we're gonna have none of that and you're dead. Let's check out this area here first. Before we um we head off. Another crab heavy attack to knock you down. Let's go uh, go back a bit. Let's see if we can kill the sun devil first. That would be very nice and make it a lot easier because now they're both dead. Let's heal and save. Healing and saving is my speciality. I really enjoy healing and saving. Let's see, and you just got killed. These guys were so annoying in the beginning. Will we be rewarded for coming all the way over here though? That's the question. Is this worth it? There is like a whole area here above the waterfall as well that I haven't checked out. Summon something. Oh, really? I want to buff myself first. Whoops, that was not the right thing to hit. Okay, so they actually need to be um, in the upward position to be able to be knocked down. Didn't realize that until now. Good to know. Apparently they've always been in the upright position when I've hit them previously, so I didn't notice that. That's good to know. And then we're gonna go back, and it's gonna go up right position again, and it's dead. Okay. There is nothing here. There is like a small area over here that looks like you can go up here. There is something here. 
Whoa, there's a shadow guardian here. Interesting. Does that mean that there is uh, some nice loot there or what? Do, 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 do. Okay, so how are we going to do this? Let's get our buffs up first. Then let's get the dog out. Let's see if the dog can swim. And if my buffs last long enough, it doesn't look like it. Looks like they're gonna run out before we get here anyway. Wow. It's not like it's especially hard, it's just that it's slightly annoying. Okay, so let's go up here. Let's stay here. Why did I use the cooldown so early? I should have waited until, until I was here. Hmm. Let's just take a second to wait for the cooldowns, which are not getting off cooldown when I'm not just staring at the screen, which I feel is kind of stupid. Um, so a cooldown of 7 is off. Cooldown of 8 is going to be very off soon as well. Let's save. Let's go. We're going to try once without resummoning the Hellhound. Which might be a very, very stupid idea. But we'll see. Or it could work very, very well. Wow. That was... That was really, really stupid of me. I think 8 is the least important buff. So let's do them in the other... Let's do that. Thank you. Finally. That was way too hard compared to what it should be. Okay. A chest. Let's grab it. This is another one of those. No, it's not. Okay, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, and that one. Okay, interesting. Magic crystal. Well, was that it? for this area. We can continue here. That's gonna get us up to this area here. Let's go back. Maybe we shouldn't jump off here. So another tip that Joan uh, gave to me was The, uh, the fact that these towers, they have loot as well. So we're going to check this tower out. See if there's anything there. I didn't think of it 
at first, but maybe you can um, you can get up these with parrot flight. Maybe. It looks like they're pretty tall, so it might not work. Let's try. Uh, maybe. Very maybe. Well, we did get up here, but that one is locked and we can't unlock it unless... Unless, unless... Silver Tongue. Hello, lockpicking. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so that one, that one, and those. Just an extension of the other one. The Forgotten One. That's a pistol. Looks very nice. Looks very nice. I think that might be a good upgrade to my current pistol. Definitely is. Very nice. But we had to use two scrolls of parrot flight to get up there. Not sure if that is intended or what. Let's continue on the beach area. But let's go south instead. We should be close to uh, hitting that 6000 glory, I think. Oh, we already did. That means that we can get dexterity. And we can now get Blade Dancer. Very, very nice. Hello, Golem. There we go. There we go. That island out there doesn't seem explorable to me. Oh, there's another Shadow Guardian. And it saw me. Fuck. Let's see if we can buff ourselves up. And kill it. Nice. Thank you. I did not see that Shadow Guardian. Very silly of me. Maybe there is some nice loot somewhere here again. More of these sand devils that feel absolutely worthless right now. Let's get out the Hellhound to help us do some damage. It's just gonna kill these even faster. Uh, we found nothing. There we go. And... Oh, there's another golem there. 
And we've hit the wrapping up point, actually. Just gonna kill this golem. Before we wrap up. And it got seriously locked. There we go. And now it's time to wrap up the episode. Thanks for watching and have a really nice day.